Welcome back, everybody. We got Eddie see, coming in. Look at, my face. look at him. Look at him. He's got sun today. He actually went outside, saw some daylight. When's the last time you did that? Oh, bro. I it's been a long time. I I feel look, my dad had me working like Hebrew slaves. Mm. Hebrew slaves. Like, here's what I learned about Georgia. The heat is different, dude. Mm-hmm. Cause it was you, it didn't you, feel that cold that hot this morning, but it's the heat hits hard. You're in the Jamie region. No, Jamie's in the in the swamp cheeks region. The when you walk Austin. outside, it smells like swamp water. Mm. I used to live in uh in a city in California that smelled like that. Yeah, it's called Sacramento. Mm-mm. <laughs> so what's up, JB? How you been, dude? I've been good, man. Stressed out a little bit. Work's been kicking my ass this week. That's, oh, no. Demonetized. No, it's time. We're demonetized. We're going to need it anyway because we're about to ask this guy a lot of questions. He's going to need but to yeah. invent himself. He's going to need to express himself. Been um, been playing with some new products that, that uh, may be coming soon, hopefully. If you're like two other people on the internet, you leaked it already. I don't. I'm not a leaker, bro. bro. Let me say this. something. If a company sends you products and says, do not leak. Or that they will uh, announce it later. What does common sense tell you? Maybe don't do it. Don't leak it. Like, bro, yeah, maybe I don't, don't post it anywhere. Don't leak it. All these people leaking. They're like what you did with that video with Jamie. Let's talk. Oh, gosh. We'll talk listen, about listen. I work I work for a company that if, if, if I leak anything, I'll be fired before the words leave my mouth. So, like, the the I, I don't understand that mindset of, of you know being given something early then no to be fair joey only did that once but these people are leaking like stuff that's supposed to be top secret that's yeah. supposed to be the hype train and the hype, there's no more hype train like i'm not even gonna turn tune in i don't know <laughs> <laughs> like i'm gonna save my time on from the four, first to the fourth that i'm not even gonna tune in it's good uh, stuff though it's good stuff yeah, let's talk it, is this talk? Let's talk. What we got? We got our munch, 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 munch. Sponsor munch. for munch. <laughs> We're sponsored by Hello Fresh. No, we got a uh, lithium auto, uh, auto care. We want to say thank you to shout out to McKenna, shout out to Bill, shout out to lithium. Um, yeah. As we grow as a podcast, plural, because you know, keep it real in us, we're kind of becoming a, a podcast of podcasts. We're looking at different ways to get sponsorships for these giveaways. So, um, I just want to thank those that are willing to give uh, things away to our community for those tuning in. And uh, if you win once, you can't win again. So you heard that right, JB, right? Because we had Brandon Nixon. That guy won more than Christy in one night, bro. Hey, pilot yeah. launch, that guy won like 90 gallons. What you want? <laughs> we Brandon. couldn't even, I haven't even gotten my gallon yet because everyone won the stock. So Lithium is our uh, sponsor for today. And then listen, guys, please, please, please look, look, I'm stressed out, guys. All right. You see how how red I am? I look like a, a chicharron, like a greasy, fat neck chicharron. Like I smell like pork. Hear me out. We need everyone to go buy a Coley made mug so she can come out with the spring line because it's killing me, Smalls. He, 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 me. He's trying to get special treatment to 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 get some early early designs but uh she's sticking she to her doing guns. it she ain't doing she's it bro she shut guns, it man. down she shut it down no nick made it christine did it we got ghosted by christine tremendous story that one all right um what else we got <laughs> fake diesel.com uh we had one person buy a shirt in the last month so well maybe, maybe this will help my... maybe maybe this will help i'm a fake detailer i only clean clean wheels I'm the only one who filmed the scene for the commercial, but you can be a fake detailer too by heading over to fakedetailer.com and help us out. It goes all towards giveaways on our channels, whether it's to keep it real podcast or the cleaner cast. Buy your shirt today at fakedetailer.com. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. I don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe it won't. All right. Let's uh, roll to 5,000. We have a huge giveaway. Shout out to Ethos sponsoring our channel, Road to yes. 5,000. Um, we're close, dude. We're at 3,600 subscribers. 3,600, bro. It's going up, man. It's going bro, up. We just hit. Three thousand, like three weeks ago. Yeah, that's what I mean, dude. You're, it, after a certain point, it's just up. Well, after this certain point, get us a five thousand so we could give away some Krenzlas and some products because that's we. Yes. I said plural, but he, that dude's not giving away anything. You said a you said a pressure washer and the whole ethos line? and the whole chemical line and the whole chemical line. That's wild. The whole chemical. Hopefully, line. those towels come with it too. 
All right, let's do a giveaway because I'm, I'm feeling itchy. Oh, Everyone's in chat itchy. We have 73 people watching. Nick McGurk can wait. Uh, he's in the hot already. seat. We're I got him on for five minutes. I got him. Hey, hey, listen, we'll give one away and then we'll we'll see how the night goes. Uh, first, first giveaway, we're gonna give away Glow Max. This is JB's one of JB's favorite waterless washes. Um, the question like I'm pebbles. gonna ask. It does smell like fruity pebbles, not like the yep. wheel cleaner from ADS. Shout out to ADS for making some some smell of wheel cleaner. All right. Anyway, um, where's where's Brad at? Is he hot? Am I getting text? No, Brad's not on yet. All right. So <laughs> this is the question. We got 80 people on. We're gonna do this giveaway. I want to know if you've been paying attention, right? So hear me out. What state am I in? Go. There we Let's go. Go. What state am I in? I got birds chirping in the background. I got my dad staring at me real weird. I got the Febreze. Uh -oh. oh, Brad's here. Oh, Brad don't play, dude. Taking notes. Brad don't play. Well, what state am I in right now? Who got it first? Who got it first? Oh, they're coming in quick. They're coming in quick. You're picking. Uh, You're picking first. Uh, boom, Ricky Tat. Georgia. Georgia. You on my Brad, mind. Dude. Georgia. All the time. All right. Should Brad, hit me an up. email. Colo at three at gmail.com banner at the bottom. Um, everyone, my mom just walked by like she's trying to be she, 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 she's trying mom, to get on the show. <laughs> mom, come say hi. Come say hi. Look, this is my mom, guys. Hi, hi, right. hi mom. Hey, mom. Hi. All right, she makes banging food though. That's why I got this big. So, anyway, let's bring on our guests. Uh, we'll do more giveaways sprinkled out. Uh, this is one of my good friends. I didn't do a um, an intro because um, that's been a trend lately. Dude, you know what the problem is with those intros? <laughs> like, I take my time to make hard, an Oscar, man. and they take they take a lot of work. So let's bring my guy in, Nick McCurry. Who started with? It? Hey, it's so good to be here. Thank you for having me. What's up, dude? Where did you get the idea for those intros? Uh, I stole them from Jamie, and I was like, I wonder if I could make them better. And then so far, I've been winning. So they're no. good. <laughs> just, uh, dude, nah, Jamie's I... voice gets so dramatic. He, he's like, he should have been arrested. One man. He should have been arrested. He goes. One man, one <laughs> desire in the world. Look at this. Chat. Right. Everyone's here. What's going on? I'm, I'm nervous popping. to be here. You guys have blown up since I've known you. I'm proud of you. And I'm just watching you soar. Oh, we you. appreciate Let's it. Let's talk We're about that. Because me and JB talk know. about that all the time. Like, JB razzes it. Like, I razz it. But coming from your perspective, because you're a straight shooter, and stop looking in my eyes like that, Nick. This is an ABC News, dog, right? <laughs> here we go. Right, be easy, Nick. Don't be staring at me in the eyes like that because I get kind of crazy. Uh -huh. So what do you mean? Like from your perspective outside looking in, how is the podcast involved in your eyes? So I looked at your channel yesterday. I was expecting to see a banger. You know, everyone likes a good banger. Like, give me like a 100,000 view video to drive a channel, right? Everyone feels a little deficient when they see that because they're like, ah, I'm just one video. If I didn't have that one video, my success wouldn't exist. So I'm like, I just want to see what you got. Your highest ranking video is 10,000. So you what? don't have any bangers, bro. You are consistently oh. putting out content. No, but I mean that in a in a very nice way. Like you're consistently putting out content that is super engaged with like a very core audience. And like I look at how many people are in the chat right now and I see your podcast and I'm like, it's a small grassroots foundation you're building, but it's growing and it's like real connections with folks. So what I think following. you're building is real. Like these numbers on the internet, they don't feel real sometimes. I feel like all these numbers are like to me human beings who really care about you and your success. So I don't know. You, you're building something uh, real, and I think I all these brands are trying this, to sponsor Nick. your podcast. They know that. I want to segue this. First of all, you're making me feel mushy because it's the community that makes it good, right? What I've learned is if I hear birds in the background, bro, I'm in I'm in Africa. Okay, if you hear birds in the background, <laughs> you my mom is like an, avi an aviary. Yeah, it's like she got she's got like Caesar Milan house, but um. The community is what makes it great. So that's why I always give back no matter what. Yeah. Like I'd rather give back than my, buy myself a tool. Like that means it's important to me because you have all these people online. You got 88 people right now watching. I feel like it's giveaway time again, JB. I'm feeling nice. Oh, to it's one of those. Giveaway. Days, huh? It's one of those podcasts. I feel like it's giveaway time. And it's because of everyone watching and, communi and communicating and telling how it is that I feel like we have, we have grown. So thank you everyone in chat. With that said, we're going to give away something else. <coughs> What's that something right. else? What are you giving We're going to give away Grime Wave, Lithium Grime Wave. Um, the first one was Glow Max. We're going to give away Lithium Grime Wave. McKenna said, and I quote, give away what you want. But we're only giving away three things as we get to we the We might give away one of Bill's cars. Who knows? Yeah, or Josh. Or Josh. So here's where we're at. They don't ship to Canada, but if you live in Canada, 
I'll buy something from uh, Carzilla uh, and send it your way. So the question I want to ask, unless JB, JB, you got a question? No, this is you, man. Yeah. You come up right, with question. the giveaway faster than I can hear yeah, you dude, say it. I, so I, I give it, give it away. The Mr. Hey, Beast so of what? Detailing. That's what he is. What, what is the channel that we all know Nick from? What's it called? Oh, a real, Ooh. a real stumper. The first one. The first Punch channel. Doc. He's gonna answer it. I'm looking at like the comments. There's nothing coming in, and then they're all gonna flood in. They're gonna flood. It's like everyone's typing real fast, real fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Everyone says DIY, but that's not the answer. What's he known for? What was his first channel that everyone knew him about? Hawk. All right, Michael Kaufman. Congrats, Michael up. Kaufman. I wonder how you Kaufman. 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 All right, let's get to the questions. Let's get let's Nick get hot it. and heavy. Let's get to it. Because Nick, we know you as DIY. I see you as the second man, right? You play second second man to the to the first string. Um. But walk us through the first question, JB. What we got? Because I wanted to know who's Nick and what's Nick's story first, because we might have some people who don't know that. They might just know you from DIY. They might just know you as as Mullet Man. Oh, okay, but, Mullet Man. But I, there's, I think uh, we got to start at the beginning. You know, there's uh, more. It's, there's more to Nick. So we want to know. You know, I feel like I've always been like an overachiever. You know, I was like senior class president in high school and like captain of my teams and i got straight a's like i just you got straight a's off. yeah like i just but i was like the kid in high school pulling all-nighters to do it you know it didn't come yeah. easy so i've never been like super efficient which you can see like on the diy channel like i do it my own way i may go over the car seven times instead yep. of just once if no one's watching me to tell me that i'm doing it wrong like the car will look great at the end you know but it's not going to be anyone else's way and that's still something i struggle with right like I think being efficient with my time is a really important thing, but I've always tried to like overachieve. So I studied journalism in college. Like I um, did internships. Like I, I've worked all over the country. I started in broadcast journalism in Clarksburg, West Virginia. And then I worked in South Bend, Indiana, Denver, Seattle. And then we had like two kids in two years. So we moved back to Utah, which is where I'm from. So like I was always someone who went after it, you know, in my own way and, and, uh, love telling stories and, uh, video storytelling has been something I've been doing since, I don't know, 2006. So in some ways, like I was made for the YouTube moment and falling in love with detailing. What the, tell, like, what does that moment mean? Walk me. I don't know what that means. I, every time I, I think like about video is king, video is king, right? Oh, okay. Everybody, everybody consumes videos, whether it's on TikTok or YouTube, like we consume yeah videos and it may not be like that maybe it'll be audio one day we'll just have it all in our brains we'll just say i feel like it took me, me a while to accept that video is king like i i'm still the guy that like will take pictures of everything and i'm going why didn't i just record a video like my mind doesn't immediately think to record a video it goes straight to let me let me take a picture and i don't know if it's like a generational thing or like or what but like yeah it, it's 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 interesting to hear you say that 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 boom 2006 you were already video well i had a chance like i went to a journalism school right mm -hmm. in chicago and it was like i could have gone print i could have gone magazine like my mom yeah. was an academic right and i saw that academic world and i was like eh like i just saw some of that like let's <laughs> let's like study very esoteric things that nobody cares about right just but like in that world everything's really important it just felt very like not ivory tower like not real yeah but i cared about words i cared about writing i cared about storytelling and i was like so when i went to journalism i could have gone newspaper or magazine but i just had this feeling that like visual storytelling was more interesting was more fun was more engaging and it like it tended to it felt like it mattered more it was right as newspapers were starting to decline and uh yeah i don't know i i just think it's an easier way to consume the fall of the newspaper was something no one ever said would happen now we have like think about the culture change right so we went from long form videos before covid then covid happened now people you gotta pop a pill because people like me are like can't stay focused so i watch TikTok all night and i, I can't even watch a whole movie straight i have to break it up in 10 seconds second second, second increment so i can consume it right see i so, like putting everything away like if it's a movie that i know i'm gonna be into i like putting everything away like you know setting the lights right closing the curtains and just like getting the getting the movie experience so but with tv absolutely like i'm either scrolling something on my phone like the attention span is just 
it's so short. Wait, we got 99 people watching. My 99 problems. Short. 99 wow. problems, but a product giveaway ain't one. We got 100. Let's give away something. Mm. Uh, I want to give away a DIY product, so I'll buy someone uh, a DIY product of my choosing. Why don't we I just give you to. a product to give away? I might All right, thanks, Nick. I was I hoping for that. <laughs> All right, Nick, we, give away some incredible suds, right? You love that. That's a good, uh, that's a good product. Let's give away 16 ounces of incredible suds. Uh, the question I want to say is, um, he said this before. What college did Nick attend? I went to Northwestern University. Wait, wait. Oh, my oh, gosh, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. Ass. I oh, thought you asked oh. me a question. We were bro, asking it's for the, the people, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Gosh, bro. Let me meet Next let me question. Meet this guy. Next, me next question. Guy. All right. Oh, um, gosh darn it, I'm Nick. sorry. It's, I you're not, not, you're not the first to do it. I, I, I feel like it happens it. every week. Every mm. podcast. Nick's out here giving away answers. Let's do this. Mm. Let's do this. Disappointing. Um, Gosh, no, I don't. What is the latest thing DIY detail drop? It was a big giveaway. It was a big uh, launch, right? Mm -hmm. Low key launch. What mm -hmm. is the product called? What what two products were launched? Come on, what's up, Sylvie? What two products were launched? Man, I hope this was a big one. We launched some last. Okay, I'll stop, stop talking. Oh, I think this guy won. I think this guy won. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We'll take one answer. It don't matter. Ooh, Brian, that's a good answer. So why don't we you got, take? Let's see. Hold on. Let's take this one. Okay. And this one. Those are the first two on my screen. Oh. Are they on yours? Two incredible suds. Yep. That's those are the two on mine. <clears throat> All right. So uh email me and this is this is what I'm gonna tell you guys. We don't sh they don't ship to Canada. <laughs> so if you live in Canada, let me know and I'll buy you something from uh carzilla.com. Look, I've been I've been I'm over here launching like hitting you... Carzilla pretty hard because what? here's what they did for me. Okay, I was gonna ask they you. They sent me the all the products that I can't get in the US. No mm. way, nice. Yeah. All the Gion products I can't get in the U.S. Nice. I, so I feel that Gion way with Rinsmith, certain things. Like I, I can't get things in California. Yeah. So Eddie, do you have uh, just like do you do you have products that you use once and never again? Like just yeah, yeah. Um, DIY Rinseless was that product. No, I'm joking. <laughs> totally I'm kidding. Um, that one product that I used once and use again was honeysuckle, or what was that thing from Chemical Guys? It was called honeysuckle. The honey honeydew. Was this? Honeydew. Yeah, yeah. Did you like yeah. it? Wasn't that bad though? I thought you. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Like, I didn't. Okay, just because I said it wasn't that bad, I don't mean you I'm gonna poured... I'm I'm lather my body in it. Like <laughs> I used it once. This and I said, out though. Yeah, that was hot trash. Let's let's have, let's have a moment. Sounds for Vero's hot garbage. <laughs> I feel like I haven't heard That's much about stress. them in a while. Yeah, you won't either. Not on my channel because mm, I'm anyway. not paying for uh for for, any, for anything. But let's go. Um, let's go to the next question, Nick. We got to know you. You went to school. You pivoted. You did the whole news anchor thing. Like, what drove you to detailing? What was that? If 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 your goal was to be a news journalist slash video creator, what mm. made you wash a car? Like, that's so I had an hour drive from where I lived to where I worked. Okay. And I had this feeling, I, I just had my two kids, so I have two small kids, so if anyone out there knows what that's like, you know, things start to change, right? And I had a ceiling in terms of where I felt like my income would be, and I was burned out on the industry, you know, it's like, the pay keeps dropping, the work keeps going up, people aren't even watching television news anymore, so you didn't yeah. feel as relevant as we used to, fragmented audience, and I was just listening to these audio books as I would drive. I was thinking, I, I feel like my life is meant for something else, right? Like, I just felt like I'd been an achiever my whole life, and I felt very stagnant. Like, having kids had been, like, a dead end somewhere. And I love my kids. Whoa, but... time out. You thought having kids was, like, a dead end? Was it because you didn't you live your life? I was in Seattle, bro. I was in Seattle. Like, I was moving up into a big city, big markets. Like, my career was going <laughs> up and up. And then, oh, I thought, like, having a little baby, we would just, like, bring them along in our life. No, they would live in our way. world and everything. And it was all of a sudden, like, Seattle wasn't that cool city anymore when... You're living in a studio apartment and uh one person stops working and you're uh you're just dealing with a crying baby like ch like we had a very colicky first kid and it was just really hard right and all of a sudden like we had another one on the way which we wanted we wanted him to have a, a sibling but it was crazy because all of a sudden you tried to go the route of let's have many so they could play with each other but that's yeah, let's really have two kids now and then like we'll go through some hard years and then they'll be able to play with each other and she can get back to work and it just became very clear that like we were living in their world as opposed to them just coming along on our adventure. Anyway, having kids is hard and I love them and they're the best thing in my life. Turbo but 60 I, till I said it right. Kids I, change everything. They bro. change everything, dude. Wear a condom. That's what I'm going to tell all those <laughs> young men out there. Until you're ready, dude. Let's go. Come on. But my kids are amazing. Like I wouldn't change it for anything. They truly like just warm up my entire life. They just like warm my heart. Anyway, but uh, 
I knew that something felt different, right? We went back to Utah, which was a step down in market size, just so I could be around family. And I knew that you lost money. Move. You lost money, dude. Yeah, I, I took like a thirty thousand dollar pay cut. Yep. And, I, and that was hard. So I wasn't making a lot of money in Utah. Like it was a smaller media market. I'd just been climbing my whole career, and then I came down to Utah. Anyway, but I thought, you know, we just have to have the second kid born. There was like a high risk pregnancy going on in Seattle. We didn't have family around. I just wasn't making money. I wasn't very inspired at work. And I felt like that industry was collapsing, right? For all the reasons I talked about. Appointment viewing. Nick said, down, wrap it up. Really he relevant. said, wear a raincoat, kids. Right, Nick? You said, wear a raincoat. Wear a raincoat. Exactly. But the kids are so amazing. And I, I feel like you do figure it out, right? But between mm -hmm. then and now, I remember listening to this Grant Cardone book, you know, like the 10X rule or whatever. And I started wearing this little like wristband, like don't be a little itch bay. But it's an actual <laughs> word, right? <laughs> what, was it? What, what did it say? What did it say? It said, don't be a little itch bay. And then I don't know like what that means. Champions. What's that mean? Come on, you don't know what the the words on the wristband were like. Don't be a little bitch. Was like the oh okay yeah, that was what okay. That's what you it speak said. English. You okay? speak English. Okay. So yeah. and it said like champions dominate, right? And it was like this like motivation for me to like stop making excuses. And anyway, so I just felt like I had this like inkling sense like my life. I got to do something else. I want to start something. Maybe I'm meant for something else. I started applying to a couple other jobs. They didn't happen, and uh, and then I don't know. I got this car, the Subaru Legacy. It was a new car, new to me, right? The same and, car you got now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was brand new, and I wanted to take care of it. And so I started watching videos on how to take care of a vehicle. And that that desire to do something, it just sort of like, you know, you just, I saw Darren from Auto Fetish, you know, like just this mobile Oh, yeah, that old California. school guy, dude, just old explain it. Yeah. I was going to ask, what videos, like, in spot, like, what, what, what videos Darren did you find Darren from Auto Fetish, time? Wilson Auto Detailing, you know, Greg from Chemical Guys, like, Scott from Dallas Paint Correction. Did you These say, did you say Masterson's? Masterson's, yeah. That guy's like, been making buttery wax in his garage since 1944, bro. That guy He's sold me so tradition. much stuff at Chemical Guys in, like, 2013, <laughs> man. Oh, boy. Anyway, yeah, there was this back. desire to do something else and, and the demand like got, got funneled into this detailing thing. And I didn't even like cars before that. I didn't even consider myself a cleaner, but something about it clicked. And if anyone out there has watched this podcast, you know what it is. When it clicks, when you love detailing, it just clicks and you have this little superpower. And I started to do that. Anyway, I did a story once with this woman who had this engagement ring stolen out of her car. And I went to interview her or whatever. It was like her grandma's engagement ring. And so it was like kind of a, a heart jerky story. And uh, she's like, don't look in there. It's kind of messy, right? And I'm like, I'll clean it for you. She's like, really? I'll pay you. It's so weird and that we that's like clean. That's how that happened, dude. started on a story, yeah. Megan McPhee. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, and I found her in my neighborhood Facebook group. So it was actually close to me as opposed to where I work an hour away. I got to do a story in my neighborhood, which is pretty rare because I'm kind of far out in the boonies. Not really boonies, yeah. but... So she started telling her friends, you know how it goes, right? Okay, how much would you charge? Can you do mine too for yep. 75 bucks? Yeah, I'll do it. You know, it's like whatever for giving Nick's it away the one that does like a 10 step and charges 40 dollars. yeah that's me bro that's me that's ridiculous so then i disappeared uh from everyone else except for you know detailing because i was getting up at five in the morning to detail do a mobile detail job and then drive an hour and work the swing shift which is like three to ten i get home at like midnight so it got crazy but i don't know when you when you, so you were detailing before you were on air like yeah, I would detail I would day. five in the morning, go That's do a mobile wild. detail, and then I would drive into Salt Lake sometimes without like having changed or showered. Just that, like, and you did it out of a need, right? So your story, well, I'm hearing this and everyone in chat. Let me know if you, you feel the same way. He lost thirty thousand dollars. Stop staring at me like that, Nick. Relax, bro. Blank. All right. He <laughs> lost thirty thousand dollars. He says, I need to make money. You're no on the gonna set do of no one's gonna do it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're like, all right, I'll clean your car for seventy five bucks at work. At another work, you're like, I'll clean your car for seventy five bucks. That didn't your last store... long. Seventy five bucks wasn't for. Like, oh, I was about to say, Nick, like, like, why didn't you just say to the news people, hey, I, I am a seasoned news anchor. Um, I came here. Corporations what can don't I do care to move about up? you. They're, they don't you know. give raises out. Yeah, one percent, two percent max. Maybe. Dang. Like per Dang. year, you're lucky. If you I know got this a well. Raise, cost of living. <laughs> I, I, you know. Yeah, I, I, Wow, so, dude. yeah you're just grateful to to get that paycheck i guess i don't know it there's benefits to working for a big corporation but like you don't really feel like you matter um in that way but so did you have like a whole really good people it's just the powers that be don't give raises did you, you have like a whole little mobile rig or did you do it out of the subaru out of the subaru 
Sweet. The blue That's one sweet. that we wet sand at my house. Yeah, like a fifty, like a giant compressor went in the back seat and ripped up all the <laughs> leather. I would stick like a giant compressor that goes up to your, you know, one of those big guys. Yeah, I yeah, would yeah. Haul it in the back, and the whole car would sag over. Wow. Steamer, gallons, bottles, rags, like. And the, just... and the and the Subaru we wet sand that one. Yeah, that one. God, bro, that's wild. You that thing's been through. It has a journey, so it's gonna go in a museum. It's gonna. It's a, a lot seen a lot of stuff in and around that. Super seen a lot of stuff. So Nick, let's go from your journey of where Nick came from to where Nick's at. So, what happened to Hawk Pro? Like your your channel was thriving. You were one of those people I used to watch. I would always watch your how to do carpet cleaning. I just found you interested, especially when you put a bullseye on Matt Mormon for selling your Krenzel that you mm. bought. And you uh, you called him out to say this is your fault, you know. Dude, you're real savage with him, like. And then we're you were like, I like that you've your carried age. on the savage tradition because yeah, I yeah. said I'm not a savage anymore. Right? I'm a brand man, so I don't disparage any other brands anymore. Oh, I'll do I disparage it. everybody, including JB. Whatever works works, uh -huh. bro. This is 2023. Uh -huh. Like we we could be honest with each other. People tell me I'm fat all the time, and I'm like, okay, I'll go for a walk, and I go to the kitchen, grab a burger, and I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, but for you, it's like your journey ended kind of abruptly. You went from making videos almost weekly, twice a week, to I, every day for a while. There was a minute where I did yeah. a, I did a video one day out of out of the news van. Like what a happened? Like, what what, what happened, like, Nick? Man, getting divorced will do that to you. Uh, yeah, not surreal. realizing that like by not sleeping, like you're gonna die young. will do that mm -hmm. to you. Um, it's just like there were a lot of things that sort of came to a head, right? You sort of feel like you can do it all, but like when you have people who depend on you, it's a different equation. And I took that same mentality I took of pulling all nighters to get straight A's and have everything on the resume, and I still was able to like achieve at a really high level no matter what I did. But when you got other people who depend on your time, you can't really do that. And I was like doing it like that anyway, and that was difficult for them. Would and you say that detailing ruins your life? No your way. Personal life? No way. I think detailing okay. was a way that I decided to like escape from the life that I had, which obviously if I wanted it, I would have been there more often, you know? Yeah. But uh, if, if it wasn't detailing, it could have been something else. So That's I can't blame detailing for it, right? Like detailing was something, I, like you know when you really love something, you know when you're really passionate about it, you just know. And I loved it, man. Like I, I still love it, but like actually cleaning cars, that is hard, hard work, but I love it. And mm -hmm. I realized like, I, I, I knew, okay, early on I knew that I had something that a lot of detailers did, and which was this broadcast experience. I'm like, I gotta find a way. I, if these guys can make these videos, I can do it too. And the whole idea you can is like, look into the camera. Michael Stoops from McGuire's. I was like, maybe one day this could lead to like a brand deal, and I could be the face of a company, which is so wild. Because now time I'm out, Nick. We gotta take a stop for <laughs> there for a second. Yeah. Because I want to bring up some things that uh, are meaningful to me. But we have 102 people on. First of all, shout out to community for being on on Thursday night. We're doing one more giveaway. Um, this is going to be for uh, lithium double tap. McKenna did say we could give everything I wanted away, but I told her stop, McKenna. We got to we got to ramp up. You know, McKenna's McKenna and Bill are such giving people. So shout out to lithium for sponsoring this Thank podcast. Um, Nick, I'm gonna let you ask a question about your brand. Let's see if they if you got some people in the chat that listen. Any question you want to ask? Make it quick and stop staring at me, Nick. Ask a question about the brand. Like, what is yeah. your favorite product? No, we can't ask that. There ask a question. An that a question answer. there's an answer to, so that's that a, someone that's in the chat can answer. answer. Oh, 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 a question. Okay. Yeah. What What is uh, What is a word that Ivan says a lot after I ramble, and he doesn't <laughs> even agree with me sometimes, but we'll just say it to move the video along. I'll be like, I think I know. I think well, I know the Ivan, answer. Why we wouldn't? And he'll say got one word. Chat from Stephanie Markey. Oh, oh, the, oh the people know. Hey, the people know. Look at this. Look at this. Which one? Which one? You pick the winner. Yeah, everyone's Nick. got it. Pick the winner. Oh, uh, exactly. It's ex Mike Zupaknik. Where do we go? Where is that at? Well, he's got a photo with two kids in it. And it said Mike's... exactly. Right this. So, this guy? Mike? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike. Hit me up in my email. Uh, we, we Wait, we have 106 people on. So I, uh, I'm i going to give away my favorite product of the week. Um <laughs> I can't stop. So like, once I can't stop. Hits. I'm already yeah, I'm at 100. I'm like, I'm, I asked my dad for a loan. He's like, Junior, I can't. And then I'm going to sell my body to science. So like, he how did that guy move like that? Well, he's an Eddie senior. So uh, shout out to my dad. Oh, my mom is Migdalia. Is her name. 
But let's uh, I'm gonna give away my favorite product of the week. So the, my favorite product of the week this week that I've used and everybody's gonna what hate. Hey, it? it's gonna be the Alchemist uh, Alchemist. There it is. APC. That's what I'm gonna give You've away. Been talking about that nonstop, dude. That Alchemist <coughs> APC. They did it right, bro. Hey, what are they? What? Tell me about it. I'll tell you about it. It's great. Um, their wheel cleaner wasn't that good, and I told the guy, I said, "Yo, your wheel cleaner kind of sucks." Uh, but his APC was citrus degreaser. It at one to ten, it cleaned like a good like brake buster on the rim. It was pretty good, dude. So I'm gonna give away 16 ounces of that because they don't have gallons yet. Um, and here's the question I want to ask. I, I'm gonna ask this: Is where can you buy a mug? I'm gonna need the whole URL <laughs> of where you could buy the mug. Um, first person to write that URL in chat gets a uh, Alchemist Alchemist, and then we're gonna move on to the next question. Oh man, that's funny. That is funny. You know, Nick, I went backwards, right? I, 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 I learned from you, uh, of you, um, through DIY. And then I was like, oh, Hawk Pro is also Nick. So like went back, watched some of that stuff. And one of the first ones I watched was, I guess it was last year. Eddie, do you remember when TRC happened yep. and Opti came out with the maintenance line for everybody? And I bought it blindly and I was like, I don't even know what this thing does. But I was I, I looked it up on YouTube and Nick's video of the OptiCoat maintenance line popped up and I was like, I would never buy it. Okay, that cool. Crap, like Nick. and man, I'm not there's like there's like two two things I like in that entire lineup. I wish here's what I wish, here's what I'm learning too. Like, <coughs> why do brands and Nick, from your perspective of, of being part owner of a company, why do brands mess a good thing up and not make it better? So I'll give you a prime example. We look at McKee's version two, right? McKee's version one, I hated it. It spotted my car like my Christian life, right? Oh, um, really? McKee's, uh, they're rinseless. Oh, yeah. 914? Yeah. McKee's version two was a great update. Like they updated some things. Why do brands make updates worse than the original? What are your thoughts behind that? I don't think that's a good idea to make updates for. I think we're always working on our products behind the scenes to make them better. Uh, but I don't know. Does McKee's Let's make talk, a, McKee's made no, not though, McKee's. Right? It's O and R. Like, how oh, do you have oh. such a good? I have version three that I use, right? And I keep going back to it. Like, I have a, I have, I gave a gallon away. Do you have the only version three left in the? Universe? I gave one gallon of version three away. It was like giving away my wife. It was one of those things that was hard for me to give away. <laughs> oh my um, and I gave away that, but I had, no, I took from my other one. I have a, a thirty-two ounce one, and I use it randomly. Yeah. To go back to like, man, why do you mess with something so great? Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I've learned from like, and this is this is going to pivot to a question from working with Ivan is, how do you blend with someone that's been in the industry so long? How do you make it work with someone like Ivan who knows more than you do, who probably forgot more stuff than you would ever remember? How do you make it work with somebody like that in your position? How do you guys collaborate of the future of DIY? Do you ever feel like when you feel like you fall in love with a a passion you just know it right so i'm a big emotional guy i'm a big gut feeling guy but anyway so you talk about that maintenance line that opti maintenance line like yeah. i even came to my shop five six years ago i don't even remember how many years ago now and did a training and that's when i i'm like i'm gonna get the opti maintenance line i'm gonna I'm, the I'm bottles gonna were like, nice i'm not I'm gonna, gonna lie this. that's what enticed me because like he's a he's such a good communicator right and you yeah. really just like you you fall in love with the way that he teaches it well i found it when we did videos together i fell in love with how the videos were doing because they, they got a lot of views and then people told us they were like you guys have a really good chemistry together right and so it's just it's a chemistry thing i think we just have like uh we just have a chemistry and he's a certain way and i'm a certain way and there's a tension there sometimes but there's also like an acknowledgement and a respect that like me asking the questions that i don't know or that i think people don't know yeah gives him an opportunity to just be ivan I so do you ask those team. questions because some of them are like stupid so you'd be asking <laughs> questions like why would why would he ask that but do you ask that for the for the end user who does in yeah. detail like yes. myself okay okay yeah. once i realized I that, wondered, that, that, like, really why does... i was like nick's a lot smarter than i give him credit for because because i realized yeah, like, what he was doing well, I didn't a, know that. So as a journalist, like I always have an ear for the soundbite. I'm always asking questions. If it's not like yeah. an interview that's 30 minutes long like this, like podcasts are different. But when I had a story, right, I would get assigned or pitch a story in the morning or the afternoon me meeting. And that could be for the five o'clock show. We could start at 2 p.m. and it could be for the five o'clock show. Yeah. Or it could be 9 a.m. 
you know, for the five o'clock show. But sometimes you'd start in the afternoon on the swing shift. You have to be in the early shows and the evening shows. So I know yep. exactly what I'm doing. I'm asking questions for sound. See, bites. I didn't know I that deadline. First, I know what sounds good. I know you can make camera. a short from it. Exactly. So it's like, yep. I don't, the only thing I don't want is like boring content, right? Because I did 90 second news pieces and that's what I got paid to do was to turn 90 seconds of content some days. That's all right. And then social mm -hmm. media made it a more demanding day. And sometimes it'd be in the early shows and the late shows, but on deadline, getting engaging content is something like I can do in my sleep. So I'm asking questions of Ivan because I know how brilliant he is when it comes to speaking yeah, about he's, detailing he's, products. He's very, I guess, I guess I know what you're doing. And I wanted to ask that before that, Nick, we got people giving money to us. Oh my so let's gosh. take a second. We got uh, go ahead, detail, $4.99. Nick wakes up every morning saying, get to work, McGurk. What a journey. It takes crazy work ethic to escape the corporate nine to five respect. Thank you. And then we have Nicholas, $5. Yeah, like Nick. Thank you. Nicholas. Incredible suds with an ounce of all clean equals perfection. And thank you, Eddie and JB, for hosting an awesome podcast. Look at this. I, uh, we're gonna oh, another one. Good the details Lord. Oh, my thank gosh, $20. $20. I got to run soon, but shout out to DIY and always keeping it real. Thank you, Christy. I almost said something real inappropriate. I moved my seat and sat on my stuff and almost cried out loud. So, um, <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> yeah. So. Now that you, now that you, I know what you're doing, right? That makes perfect sense. Have you ever not asked Ivan those questions, asked to catch him off guard? Like, just do the work. Like, say you're making a video, right? Have you ever yeah. just said, instead of being his wingman, because you know everyone's, dude. Ivan made a video for me for my TikTok, uh, dummy viral, 1.3 million views of him spraying on a vent. I don't yeah. know if it was the beard, his nice jeans, his cheeks in his jeans. Or what it was, he sprays a vent, 1.3 million views. Have you ever thought to yourself, like, I'm just going to not ask those questions and show people who I'm really, I'm, I'm really like? Well, I don't, I mean. Real quick, Alfred Auto Spa, another $10. Thank you. Nick changed the way I clean carpets with exposing me to end cap cleaners. Uh, started using them and haven't looked back. Nick and Ivan are a powerhouse. When is DIY product, uh, carpet product coming? We're working on it. It's on the, it's on the list, right, of, uh, of videos, of, of products, for sure. Somewhere between soon and eventually, as Ivan would say. There it is. I was yeah. waiting for it. Uh, but so, <laughs> what was the question, Eddie? Like, because I feel so like have you ever thought about me. like, no, but that it's not. I've seen you. I've seen you on Hawk Pro Detail. You're very demanding. Not that you should be with your partnership with Ivan because you have a beautiful relationship, just like JB and I, right? I'm I'm more aggressive. JB is the more sexy and then laid back, and JB is the more chill. But I'm the more like we 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 play off each other very well but you know some things that we've all learned from you have you ever thought about stop looking at me like that nick stressing me out okay stop staring at me have <laughs> you ever looked about have, you ever, have you ever taken a step back and be like all right today in this video i'm just gonna run it not it's ask an, any it's questions a, it's an interesting so okay early on right because ivan and i are equal business partners when we went in i was like i'll go in but we're equals right but early on i realized that like in the garage with him, like he has a certain way of doing things. And he oh, wasn't yeah, joking he around about it when he said, you need to do it this nope. way. And I was like, wait, but I'm just going to do it this way. He's like, no, this is how you polish, right? It's like, oh, so we're going to do it this way. And we tried it that way and it worked, right? And I'm, a, I'm an artist, but I'm, I'm also a company man and a practical human who, who left a steady career to like start a business. When the shorts with Ivan start to pop off, like I lean into that. So I think mm -hmm. I leaned into let's just let ivan be ivan because oh, of course brilliant of course so it so i think maybe i do that more than i need to but when i see something working like i don't need to overthink like is he getting more airtime than me is like look at all the shorts i edit them all i could make no, them it's all not airtime it's to, not right? airtime it's, yeah, yeah. it's putting away the asking question nick and be like hey ivan mm. i'm just gonna run with it so you I think, just you, I think you, I just like to ask the because he's so good at explaining things. He's, like he is. he's a once in a generation like spokesperson. Like you know what I'm saying? Like when he speaks, people listen, right? Mm -hmm. And I have this brilliant sort of like performer, but also like it's not a performance. This is just what he knows. He just has a way to communicating these things in a way that makes it sound so doable, right? And it is. I'm like, let's let him shine. Let me facilitate. Let me be the guy who's really good at the assist so that he can score and we can win. So, so what's that one thing that you learned? So out of your year, you've been in business with Ivan for how long? A couple of years now. Like seriously. What is that one thing in your life? Because I'm going to ask a hard question. It might be too mm. personal. Yeah. And then you just have to just keep staring at me and say, I can't answer that. Okay. Okay. So what is that one thing in the last two years 
that you learned from Ivan that helped you be a better person or a better detailer? What's that one thing you want to share with us? The pad washer. <laughs> it actually there's a, there's a... <laughs> I used to hate the pad washer. I'm not, I'm kind of taking a little like easy way out, but his polishing system actually works. I used to think it was such a phony method of polishing paint. I was like, Rupes told me to use air compressor, this yeah. damp pad baloney. Then I'm getting rinseless washing the pad. I can't get my perfect finish. Like the pad washer finishing with a rotary. Like the only thing is if we had infinite clear coat, like sometimes I still just want to like go on speed five with a microfiber pad and just. Uh, Ivan doesn't know this, but you and me at the house when you were over. Yeah. When Ivan was teaching Isabel, you and me busted out the rotary on the whole side of the G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just because it's fun. I like doing that. But like. Ivan knows how to polish and I've seen him yeah, do amazing. difficult things with different combinations with wool, with sandpaper in different situations. I'm like, it's not that he doesn't know how to do that. It's that this way actually works. So the pad washer, the damp pad, like it just works, but it's a different mentality. Like you the really can polish a one step car and like, you don't stress about it being perfect and you can do it in an afternoon as opposed mm -hmm. to it being three days to polish a car. Like, Anyway, what were you saying, JB? I used to have to like, if I knew that like I wanted to polish my car, I'd be like, I got to figure out like which like three day weekend I can, you know, request off of work so that I could, I, I know it's going to be a long process. And that was my mindset for a while. And then the first time I did do the pad washer, damp pad, one spray, I was like, yo, like I'm moving pretty quick. Like it almost felt like I, I had forgotten steps because it's so easy and so effective. There was a video I wanna I couldn't find, but I don't know. We'll get into the sappy stuff that I want to ask. I can't find it. There was a moment in time where I saw like another side of Ivan, where you were probably at the lowest part of your life. You were living in your shop. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if you want to yeah, talk yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. When Ivan came in and his way of helping Nick get out of depression was I'm gonna clean your shop for you. Walk us through that time, because you know that's that's a different. I, I know, I know that. Tell me, you don't want to talk about this, but that's fine. I, we, we we see Nick on DIY, but there's more to Nick. There's a history, right? There's a whole history of Nick. Like I, mean, I saw so that video as Nick as Ivan. You know what I felt like? I felt like Ivan was. You were in the water. You were living out of your shop. You're going through a messy divorce. The little Croy cruiser came down the street. The guy pulled his hand in the river and was pulling you up from a dark place. Like walk me through that, like. Yeah, I mean, I you got to move somewhere, right? And I just happened to have a yeah. detailing shop with, like, an upper level. So I was just sleeping on, like, the wooden floors up there uh, after the separation, which is not a fun thing. Like, you know, I thought about doing a few videos how, you know, paint correction ruined my marriage. Like, just clickbait stuff, right? Like, yeah. how the all-nighters pursuing perfection to impress detailers on, like, the Detailing for Money Facebook page. You know, like, whatever you're trying to do on Instagram. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it ain't worth it. Like, Ivan's way of trying to create actual entrepreneurs from the detailers like me who start with passion. It's because he cares about detailers. Like, yeah, he's a businessman, but he really wants you to succeed. Like his legacy, if he can help you create a business that helps you like provide for your family and have a good life, like that matters a lot to him. So yeah, he and Sylvie came and it was the second time they'd visited after, you know, that series of videos and the training couple like the year before. And this is about a month before COVID hit. And uh, I don't know, there was a sense of, I remember him saying like, <laughs> she'll take you back when she sees your shop. Like, cause I was like, my life was a mess. My shop was a mess. Like she didn't want my kids even coming over to the shop. So if I could somehow clean that up, maybe, you know, that was a, a thing for me. I thought maybe if I just had some well, organization. You, you did that for me and I, I want to share it cause I think that was personal, but I want to share something that you did for me. And I don't talk to you much about it. Um, my wife had cancer. She was still going to chemo. Do you remember when you came over to my house? Yeah. And you, you came over and we were just shooting, cutting the crap, hanging out. You stayed the night. My wife was still recovering. And I haven't, you know, YouTube was that outlet for me, but I haven't had anybody at my house for a very long time. And I remember you asking the dumbest questions for breakfast. Like, you're a bougie dog. Like, you're like, I want my eggs like this. I what? want my bacon like, yeah, dude, you were straight. But then at that moment, I was like, he doesn't know the impact he's making in my life right now. So I do want to say thank you. Because at that Just, moment when you were there, and then it's not, not to cry or anything, when we were standing in the car at 10 o'clock at night, <laughs> you let me run the rotary on your back thing. I'm like, I'm going to burn the shit out of this. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm going to burn paint today, kids. And 
at that moment, you what Ivan did for me, for you, you did for me in person. And I thank you for that because I didn't have nobody. I didn't have like, it was by myself. I was by myself trying to get through. Uh, yeah, we have people on in the community, but I'm talking about physically at my house, somebody there to just chill. You didn't ask any questions. All you did was chill. And then I could tell you were tired and we we're looking for like, like, uh, you eat weird stuff. You're like granola. So we're driving all over Pocatello trying to find like so, fresh meat to eat. You, and, you got jerky uh, in your spot. Yeah, you remember that? We were driving all over Pocatello. He said like, weird like, stuff like granola. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you were driving all over Pocatello trying to get that uh, that fresh jerky. And at that moment, I'm like, dude, you're doing me a solid, man. So, uh, well, I it wasn't, I appreciate it. It was just, uh, I could tell it wasn't, I didn't come here because it's, but I could tell like you're real busy making YouTube videos and talking to all of these people online who are friends. Like, it's crazy. These are like internet friends, but they're friends. Like, you know what I mean? Everyone on the chat yeah. feels that way towards you. They feel a connection, but I was like, you probably haven't had like, just like a one-on-one -on -one time with like a friend. No, we smoke person. cigars too. Yeah, you like, can let us put high spots bad. on your car. And everyone makes you and Ivan make fun of me for those high spots daily. That's all right. The car yeah, like, I was just letting spots, you guys so. have a moment. <laughs> no, JB, I think it's important because you do it for me now. Like you don't know it, but the way we all chat or how people reach out, it's meaningful. But you guys don't come to my house. I've only had Ivan. I've only had Nick. I've had Sock. But you know, Sock doesn't live here. Ulysses, like I buy all these products and I give it to Ulysses. And <coughs> but it was that time that. That one time I was sitting there like, dang, he doesn't know how much you did for me. And I appreciate yeah. it. Well, I appreciated you bringing me up there and having me at your house, man. It was fun. It was fun. No, it's, uh, but yeah, Ivan and Sylvie, like they, we, we, I don't know. There's a video on the Hawk Pro channel where we, we pulled out so much stuff from that shop. No, they and pulled we, out so much stuff. You didn't yeah. do nothing. Don't lie, dude. They <laughs> did, bro. At the Stop end, lying. they looked so good. It was like the most optimized shop you've ever seen. It was so clean. And I kind of kept it that way after that. And it was amazing. Like, I was so grateful. It was it was an incredible transformation. Do you still have the shop? No. So okay. this is a long story, but I brought on a business partner shortly after that. The and, worst. And, uh, has anyone ever had a business partner? Because you probably know how the story ends. These are really difficult things to have, like business partners. So, but I brought on a business partner and... We all we painted the shop black and we were making Hawk Pro real dramatic on the YouTube and he had a video background. So we were, and then we were doing cars together and it got too busy. And so we had to, we looked for another shop. Oh, there was a thing where we hired a technician, Tommy, and he was like about to faint from like heat exhaustion one day. <laughs> so I have a friend who's an HVAC guy. He cut a hole like in the, in the metal, you know, sheeting or whatever. Yeah. And then my landlord didn't like that we cut a hole in her wall. So she kicked me out. So I had like a month <laughs> to find a place to live. It wasn't just my shop. It was my yeah. home. And she was savage. She's like, you need Man. to get out of here. Brenda. Brenda. Shout, shout out to Brenda for ruining lives, dude. Man. Man. So in Life the video ruiner. behind it is like the 4,000 square foot shop that uh, Greg and I moved into. And uh, at some point it just became like untenable because I was still working the news job. I'm no longer working 2 to 10 p.m. I didn't have a morning anymore. Yeah. I had to work from like the morning to the evening. And by the time I drive home, it's 7 p.m. So I'm going to work an all-nighter, but no one in the shop sees you working. So when you have a manual labor business and the people that you're working with don't actually see you doing the work, resentment builds up. So anybody yep. who can relate to that, you know. So it turns out that that was not a great business partnership. So we just said, here, you take Hawk Pro. I'm going to take the YouTube channel. So Hawk Pro still exists in Heber, I think. Um, it's been a couple of years, so wish him all the best. But uh, I don't. If you're listening to this, Greg, here's what I hope for you. Um <laughs> I hope that you burn someone's paint like a Mercedes AMG. Oh my God. Uh, you don't have insurance because you've got to pay for it, right? Because God, <laughs> like, oh. God don't like ugly, right? When I'm, here, here's the thing. like, the, I, I hear her stories about partners. Um, and it's going to lead to my other question. So what's your goals for DIY? What's your and Ivan's goals in the next coming months? And then when's Hawk Pro going to be relevant again? There's mm. two questions in that. I mean, I think the only way I would get back into making videos for Hawk Pro is if I'm not with DIY. Cause like a hundred percent of my focus is DIY. I was in Denver covering the, the acquisition of Peyton Manning, right? This was like, I don't know, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. but Peyton Manning had the neck injury. Like he's off the Colts and John Elway is the new GM for the Denver Broncos. And they've acquired Peyton Manning. And the whole idea is like, Peyton's going to take us to a Super Bowl. And at a news conference, they asked John Elway, like, well, Peyton has a bad neck. He's old. Like, 
what's plan B? And John Elway was like, there is no plan B. So while other people would say it's good to have a backup plan, like I'm all in. When I left the news business, there was no plan B. Like DIY is it for me. Like Ivan and I are both equal owners in the company and I just want to keep seeing it grow. And like, I Ivan, how does it feel to have a partner that's fire? Like I, keep, I want to ask all these questions because I don't have an Ivan. I got a yeah, JB. Yeah. Yeah. And me and JB is like, if I was next to JB, I'll be like his fat friend that would get his car for him and can't fit in it. And he's like, yo, <laughs> go get the car. Like, I'll be that guy, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But but it's like, you have an Ivan. Your success on YouTube is blowing up. The company is blowing up. Like, for peace sake, I got a mailing that you guys are changing warehouse. How do you balance growing and then your partnership to make sure you both are aligned in your vision? Mm-hmm. Well, I think Good it question. comes down to like being a team. I think when you have an ego about who's going to be in charge or whatever that can get to problematic. Like there's no DIY without Ivan, right? No, I'm grateful that I have him on this team. And then we have a great, like we have a customer service team. We have Amy and Sam, we have a managing partner. Like we have it behind the scenes. Like this is not either of us only we have smarter people, more talented people. You know how you want to work with people who are smarter, more talented than you. Like I have that, but I know that I bring a lot to the table as well. And like, it's just a very unique alchemy of smart, successful people who know what they're doing. Like, I don't know how to move a warehouse, but our team does. And so I'm just grateful, man. And real quick, JB is not trash. Like I said, I would be the one getting his car because he's too sexy, right? Like me next to JB, it's like, we're like robbing big. I did say that. I was like, Eddie, you and I are like robbing big of detailing. Like, I, this, I, There's no better descriptor. It's a great team. You guys have a dynamic, but like it's hard. You can't quant. You couldn't just like go to the store and get two people and like that's a good team. Like when he a, asked me to do this in a team. Yeah, when he asked me to do this, I was like, <laughs> what? Like, what do we have in common? Who's gonna watch us? Like, and now we got 117. I, we people. had like, no idea. That's All I wondered. remember is this. That's what we I were trolling. Say. We were trolling TRC. Monada can't go and check because I get. I'm gonna get shadow banned. They already know all my accounts, right? So I'm not gonna sit here and make another account to hang out in TRC. But we're in TRC when we're trolling the dude with the, the ice bath and him and I were just, he just had his heart surgery or just before his heart surgery. And we we're just going, we we're just belligerent, yeah. like pop, 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 taking shots. I'm like, you know, it'd be dope if we did it. Apart. I never spoke to him on the phone. Never spoke to him on video chat. The first time we ever spoke face to face was our first, the first step of, <laughs> it was wild. Yeah. Like when you, when you were like, I'm doing this podcast, I'm like, Jay, who, who is this guy? People yeah. still say that. People people go, oh, man, I was on Eddie's podcast. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Demonetized. You know, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> good enough time. No, it's good to be you, bro. But uh, JB, you got any other questions for him? Because I got some questions in chat. Uh, no, I don't think so. But this was this was a good one. Like, I, I remember I forgot where I heard Nick telling this story. But I was like, yo, I, I know what bro. story he's talking about. There was a family that I started detailing for and the guy was so successful. He had this masonry company. He had like dozens of employees and he was always so good to me. You know, you could tell he respected me as a business owner and yeah. Um, and he had a bunch of kids running around big house, you know, out in the country. And anyway, long story short, uh, his wife and I interacted with them many times, allegedly like killed him with fentanyl. And then she bought this giant house that she, anyway, It became national news, right? Nightline, People Magazine. The wife killed the husband with fentanyl, and uh, I was their detailer. So I was their detailer for years, um, and I did a podcast about it. And then a lot of magazines and you know Nightline reached out, and it was my friend was like, "Why aren't you doing it?" I'm like, "I'm a spokesperson for a company. Like, I don't need the, I don't need the limelight for that." But you made the video anyway. Like, all right, here's the (laughs) thing, Doctor Nick. On my own terms, because you made the video anyway. I don't need them. I left big media, and I don't need them anymore. Like, I have. You gotta stare in the soul like this. This is Nick. What's that? This is Nick. <laughs> so what we're doing right here, right? Cause all right, hit this, JB. What we got? Uh, ridiculous. Four ninety nine. Thank you, Ivan and Nick. Taught me a lot. Thank you both for Colin? your advice over the years. I've watched both of you for countless hours. Same videos over and over again. 
We have another one from I saw earlier from uh, DJ May. Alex G. Thank you, Alex. dude. Alex G. Hill, go back to Alex G's picture, dude. Don't mess with this guy. He Do cares. Not mess with Alex G, <laughs> Yo, man. my boy Alex G is from the hood. Hey, shout out to Alex G. DJ hey, Mayo, five dollars next to Diet Dr Pepper's for JB. Listen, if anyone knows how to get Dr Pepper to sponsor the podcast, I'm all in. I'll do dude, whatever. JB. I'll do. Diet I'll Dr do Pepper. I'll do dirty things to get them to sponsor. I ain't podcast. lying. I talk about dirty things. Mm. Baby makers, all that. <laughs> uh, I met Nick when he saved my life. I was swimming and sharks came to attack me and Nick hit them and saved me. Thank you, Carlos. I just did what anybody would do in that situation, Carlos. So. We do have a bunch of questions, right? Like the, let's, let's I think the question. Start... Hey, but like real quick to any YouTuber out there or anyone making videos for their detailing company, one thing Ivan really taught me is like you can focus on being entertaining, but the core purpose is to educate, right? Mm -hmm. and I can't. I by can't. being dialed into that, remembering that like if we can educate people, they'll write messages like that. Like you've been reading, like people say that they use our products, they're grateful that we taught them stuff. Ivan's always focusing on education first. And I think that's been a huge you know, reason we've grown at, at DIY. You remember that one time we were making a video live together and I poured out bear soap? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I oh, you can't talk great. about it? I thought oh, it was okay, great. Cool. As much product as you can waste as possible or use, I'm all in. Eddie thinks he doesn't. Eddie, Eddie thinks he doesn't do educational, but he like I learned from Eddie like how to not use a camera. Like I, I oh, learned how. No. To, oh my gosh! You know Eddie's I know what you're tight shots. On. Give me, give me some wide. Hey, no, hey, not, he goes, look cool. at the look. It's cleaning the sponge. It's cleaning the sponge. The camera's hey, not even hey, near hey, the bucket. I'm talking about what happened was I got this new camera. Right, you guys are such. <laughs> First of all, my my camera skills are chef's kiss. Right, 4K. Like you're watching your eyes. Our, our camera our instead of is worth more than my car. <laughs> yeah. So I got the second camera so I could get up close because functional doctor like a year ago was like, please get closer. And the only thing going in my head was like, get closer. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Get closer. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I got closer and then it's hard, bro. It's hard out here for Pip, right? I take the power and I'm this big on that camera. And I'm trying to go like this, and then all of a sudden, my big hand, right, my big, yeah, it's on this uh -huh. side, and I'm uh -huh. like, you know what, you guys can suck it. You can like, this, <laughs> like and subscribe. That's all you can do, right? Don't sit here, right. troll me. You know how long it takes to make a video? All right, let's go to these. Uh, let's go to these questions. What takes you longer, making it or, or editing it, Eddie? Editing takes me 30 minutes. Dang. Because I, I always, I always fear that the editing, like I'll record something, um, like a reel, and I go, this, this is gonna take me a long time to edit, and then like, but once I'm in the zone, I'm like, cut, mm. cut, 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 like it, 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 it gets faster. I used to, I think last summer I said I hated it, but <laughs> I like it. All right, listen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so for this one, okay, okay, my Puerto Rican brethren, here's what happened. I started now reading every single label in back mm -hmm. of the bottle for the video because I was like, you know what, I am trolling people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because at first I was like, ADS soap was not good, and then all of a sudden the back says one to three ounces. I'm like, which one is it? I'm confused. If I put one ounce and I show the video and it, and it sucks, it's my fault. I put three ounces, you use too much. So now I'm just putting, I'm just reading the instructions as is when I make yeah. a video and I do this. Um, and I read it just like you know, like I'm, I'm dope, bro. And then I ask Eddie because I don't read the instructions either, so um. Functional Doc says, Nick, you look so much better without business in the front and party in the back. <laughs> hey, everyone should grow a mullet once in their life. And now I can say I've done it. Hey, do you, do you notice any uh, change in view uh, yeah, count? All the girls are checking out. The mullet, the mullet era and now? I think the mullet makes me more relatable. It's like, what the hell was he doing? Re you know? Relatable to this guy. As a human, you know, even if you yeah. want to think I'm an idiot or whatever, like you had something to say. Be memorable or be forgotten or something, yeah. right? Don't yeah, you have be phenomenal saying, or be don't forgotten. Don't you have saying, okay, be phenomenal yeah. or be forgotten. Well, that mullet was phenomenal, okay? A couple uh, of ladies liked it. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> no, but a lot of people hated it. It was fun. It's gone. But I, I Dude, your mullet got more hate than like 9-11 did. Like oh your God. mullet, I read, I, I would go on your chat and I wouldn't oh. even comment because I'm too enthralled with like, like having too much fun, he you would know, just slay you. You ask like, about that guy views, bushy like, beard would be would be good next. Nick. Did DIY blow up in the year that I had the mullet? And Absolutely. The answer is yes. So who's to say? You know, how do we scientifically? That's why. That's that why I wanted to know what the uh, the the insights know? were. Yeah. Uh, but I think you could do like a big bushy beard next. Maybe is your who next knows? move. Wait, wait Stephanie. Stephanie. Seth Stephanie, ten dollars. Thank Stephanie. you. Thank you. Keep on keeping on, Mr. McGurk. Eddie JB, pleasure as always. You guys are getting these super chats. Uh, now I can see how you, man. 
Uh, That's how I give the giveaway. So if they give, I try to give as much. You you did touch on this. Uh, Rick says, how did Nick and Ivan initially meet and what made you want to go into business together? Yeah. So I had a YouTube channel. I, and it was like, it was like, it was like yours, Eddie, right now, uh, where it was like small, but growing. And it was like, it was kind of hot in that own, in its way. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I was in the optimum forums and I just asked Ivan, I'm like, Hey, what would it take to get a training out here? What's it going to cost? And he laid out the numbers for me. And so I went in the optimum page and I was like, Hey, I'm going to have Ivan out here for a training. Anybody want to come? And all we needed was like 10 people. Yeah. And in a day we had it filled. We had a couple of local people. It was like, so it was cool to be on YouTube and feel like you had a little sway. And then Ivan was coming and it just all worked. So we had this training set up. He came to the shop and I just started recording and then published the videos. They did very well, but it could have been, all right, I'll never see you again, Ivan. Like it was a good trip. Personal chemistry was great and everything, but it was like, you know, whatever. But then the videos did very, very well. And so Ivan's always like so connected in the industry. And, you know, he had people he was talking to about DIY and, you know, eventually like, we shot more videos together and then he approached me about an opportunity about a year before i actually went out to omaha to film for the first time and so it was sort of in the background for a long time but i think he saw me as someone with social media and like broadcast presentation and passionate detailing that could like help lift diy because we had that chemistry together so it was kind of years in the background of just you know and that's why i tell people every time go to in-person training meet real people in real life because things can happen that you can't like predict. So, so we got a, a few more questions. Uh, any more questions in chat, Nick? I won't, while we're doing that, we have 115 people on. Uh, people just give away money. Wow. Today. Like, how are you have so money. many people watching, Eddie? I have no idea. It's, I say, uh, Eddie, like it's by JB. JB, how do you get so many yeah, people see? watching? <laughs> I honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know why people watch us, but I appreciate it. So, Thanks, guys. Giveaway time. We're gonna do a giveaway, and then we'll give you guys some more time to add, or y'all, because this is don't be sexist, right? Don't be. They're just, we're mixed company, y'all. All right. I well, want to give away. giving away? Um, ADS Pilot, sixteen ounce a pilot. Hopefully they got us. I don't know what they have in stock anymore. I think they've Probably got be trolling. That's a good all right. Question. Sixteen ounce a pilot, and we're gonna ask a question. Um, JB asked a question. Oh God. Uh. Uh. Who's the sponsor of the five thousand giveaway? <laughs> Who's the sponsor Who's the spo- of the five thousand subscriber giveaway? Who is sponsoring the five thousand giveaway? Oh, dang, dude, David didn't even with the quickness. Holy crap, David's David, the one who has like T five. Da- David, knew, yeah, he does. David knew what I was going to ask for. I said it. Congrats, Wait, we got one hundred nineteen. Let's give away something else, and Uh-oh. then we'll be we'll one hundred nineteen. The people just keep watching. Nick, give us a question. Give us a question about DIY. Um, what city is it based in? What city oh, is it DIY based mm, in? Mm-hmm. And for this one, we'll give away another 16 ounce of pilot. Let's see. What do you got? Going what on city is DIY? Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. You didn't win. You didn't win. My fault, dude. <laughs> My fault. Someone. So I won't. I won't click question. anymore. I'll, I'll click. I'll do the clicking. Uh. You said city, right? Not state. City, city, uh-huh. city, what city? city, city, city. Boom, boom. Well, I think Ryan uh, got it. Ryan, Moore. Ryan, Ryan. Did Ryan right, win you earlier? Got Omaha. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if he won earlier. Uh, if you have won twice, if I don't send you the pilots because I told you you can't win twice, that's between you, God, and Moses. All right. Let's see. Um, congrats, Ryan. We got one twenty-two on. I think we do another giveaway, and then we ask oh, questions. <laughs> Just keep <laughs> giving product away, <laughs> Santa Claus, man. <laughs> I'm I would watch the free product. I'm gonna move. My dad, my dad, my mom's here. Um, I'm just grateful, dude. So another pilot. What are we giving away? away? We're gonna give away uh, shampoo. <laughs> oh, we're gonna give away Ethos Resist. No, not Resist. That's, we're gonna give away Foam Party 16 ounce. Foam Party, foam party 16, 16 ounce. Yep. What's the what question? is the last video Carlos Serrano made? Ooh, good question. What is the last video that Carlos Serrano made? I need the title. Of the dude, last Carlos, video, Carlos does a lot of lives too. Dude, Carlos does. So Carlos much is the man. Carlos, you know, is Carlos funny, is real. You know, that's what I love about you, Carlos. Is you're just a real one. You're out there on those. Dude, he went streets. on a podcast and drunk like 15 shots. Dude, Carlos and, and I like, just no. Carlos and I in like champ. the last two weeks just started sending each other like funny things on Instagram. The guy's got me like cracking up, man. He is a funny guy. He did a video um, four days ago. What was it about? Delgado. 
plain detailing. Yep. All right. Hit me up. Congrats. Hit me up. Hey, we got Nick for a couple more minutes. Any yeah. questions? Yeah, let's blast through these questions. Uh, uh, we've got one here that says Hawks Pro Detail. Nick, were you who Levi at TRC sold his shop to? I don't think that's no. That I think it was a similar place. name though. Not in Idaho, in Heber um, City, Utah. Is Christine part of C Six? Haven't seen her lately. Is she all right? She's not. I uh, I heard Ivan say it on a live stream. Uh, she's camping with my boy Jimmy. I hope she marries Jimmy. Christine, if you're watching this, yeah, I saw your Facebook post. I'm happy you're happy with Jimmy. Jimmy's a stud. You're a stud. Can you call women a stud? Is that sexist? Are you both are studs? So I think Christine's just being happy, dude. Yeah, something about she was just gonna take a break from social media for a while. So sometimes we need to, man. It's good for the uh, it's good for the brain. Do you think um, you have more or less anxiety with the Apple Watch? That's what I'm wondering. I'm thinking about just taking it off. So I've gone I've gone through some as someone who works for Apple, I'm a little biased, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I've gone through that phase where I'm like, dude, this is driving me nuts. But if you take the time to just sit down and go through the notifications you actually care about like i want to text from this person i want to call from this person just limit it to that and turn everything else off much better okay give it a shot um 23 do the do says clean and protect or rinseless which is stronger for interior cleaning man i think they're both equal i think clean and nah, protect. i like I don't, them i'm like i hate i hate clean and protect you don't like it not a fan it's a gallon of it right there I, I like clean and protect if i have a clean interior and i'm just doing maintenance but if i really like need a, to do a like deep a dusting dive, yeah i think it's a great maintenance product but if i'm really mm -hmm. doing a deep dive detail i'm going right for rinseless clean okay. and protect is if you've laid down that interior ceramic or you've cleaned the you know you have a detailed interior and you just want to like touch it up it's so rewarding it smells nice it's got a nice little yeah pop, you know it's anti-static so i think it's a great product for maintenance so yeah i guess rinseless but i, I like them both i mean i'm not biased or anything right uh nick the question is why do you pretend like you don't know anything when you do it seems to disrupt the flow of the demos it's an interesting question that you say disrupt because i feel like i don't know uh the video i think you explained it right yeah i yeah, feel like he... i'm trying to be the person that i was when i started out which is like i don't know or i think that sounds suspect or tell me why again i yeah. think it's i think it's good i think uh maybe it's too much you know, maybe it is too much, but that's sort of the the flow that I feel like has worked. So it's interesting you say it disrupts the flow, but I don't. Well, know. I think, no, I like think what I was saying is, go ahead, go ahead, JB. Like you said, there's 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 the other reason that you do it is for the sound bite. Like that's that's how your brain works. Is you're like I want to get the sound bite or I want to create the short or the real um, from that, and I think that's. A lot of people don't realize with with like detailing uh, or and social media, a lot of it is is, you know, especially like with me, like if I'm trying to get the shot, I'll phone the car three times so that I get the shot. And then people ask questions like, well, that's not efficient or blah, blah, blah. But there's there's other reasons that we're doing it, whether it's educational or or, you know, like you said, to get that sound bite. And I know we're supposed to learn things the first time we hear them, but a yeah. lot of people learn I don't. the fifth time, right? And yep. they don't ask the questions because they're afraid to ask them. And I've always been the one who maybe asked too many questions or asked the same question too many times. Yep. So I maybe have air on that too much, but I, yeah, it sounds like Deb and Demo 1000 say it helps them. So we really do just want to educate. Obviously yeah, we want to exactly. sell product. We want to do all the things we want to grow, but like Ivan and I are passionate educators, like deep down, you know, I have a, a bunch of family members who are teachers and, and I love that. So, well, uh, it's true. Like, like it's true. What, what she's saying here, like there's Deb said something, West cat says something like a lot of people on here, Alex G that's how they learn things. And I didn't know at first I thought you were trolling Ivan. That's why I asked the question. Oh really? Cause I know. Yeah. In real life, like in real life, I'm like, why is he asking this dumb, this almost said a swear word dog. I, this dumb <laughs> question. Like, why are you asking this stupid question? But I get it that you're trying to give Ivan the segue to help the beginner because, you know, I, I've been in Ivan's training. That's how he actually teaches. Like how he teaches you online is how he taught me to do it. He taught me and my kids how to do a roast watch yeah. in 10 minutes. And if he's going to polish paint and there's no camera around, he doesn't just quick hit it with rinses and polish. He hits it with rinses. He takes the perforated synthetic decontamination towel with the iron remover, spray on the towel, spray on the panel, no pressure. Like he does the thing that he teaches. It's not some yep. kind of act. And then he washes it off. And then he, uh, it's, it's, he believes it with his heart, you know, this is, yep. and, and his mind. That's where it is. Though. It's, it's all about what actually works. So no, he truly believes it. And 
So yeah, if I if I'm ever trolling him, Eddie, it's a good question. Sometimes it's not trolling. Sometimes I just want to see him. Just, I want to like hear him say it again. I'm like, yeah, I haven't. How does rinseless work again? And I just like want to hear the magic yeah. way that he like delivers all these big fancy words. You know, like when he never seems frustrated with the question and the da 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 da. And I know that the people out there just google how to wash my car they've never heard of rinseless wash before yeah this could be their first video even though he said it a thousand times on camera so partly i just like hearing him talk sometimes you know but uh, mostly it's like I, I know this could be your first time seeing us and so i don't want to assume you know what decontamination means right so depending on the video i'll ask or i won't ask but uh you're right jb it's like i'm also listening for shorts because that's where we get our shorts from is the long forms yeah, because I edit all got, our videos. So or, we got uh, some more questions. Too. We're gonna have to blow through all these. We have a lot of questions. How long is this podcast, big guy? We're on the bro. It's, we're on, wrapping it up, dude. It's got gotta. Hey, the people get what they get, Nick. All is right? DIY gonna make a smaller machine like a three inch? Ivan, he don't play that way. But we might actually. No. We might. <laughs> he's like put a six inch pad, maximum efficiency on. So okay, if you haven't been able to tell, like. His thoughts on detailing is like what drives our company. And I mm -hmm. defer to that. And I have an awesome partner and I know that he knows a lot. So it's more of what he wants. I, I mean, will we come up with a three inch polisher? I think we're talking to our manufacturer. Like it could be a small cordless one. So it's possible. But um, right, I just say next it's question because Nick's over here being a politician. Yes or no? Um, I all no tried Hydro Save at DIY. Curious y'all's thoughts. So I let Eddie try all the products now, man. I'm yeah, a, I'm boys. A, get I, closer. I have not tried it. I hear it's great oh, though. Closer. You love it's it, Eddie, huh? How long before I can get into the car after interior ceramic? An hour is a good. Like I would not sit on the seat for an hour. That's just a good okay. practice. Like if you sit on the seat, will the world end? No. But Did if you're I going to go into the work of putting that product on? I would let it cure for an hour. Did I hear that Sam Squatch is now part of the DIY team? Yeah, he's on our customer service team, and we're super grateful to have him. Shout out! So, to Sam customer Squatch. service Shout tanks Sam is Sam Squatch fault because we know Amy's nah. on point. Amy's amazing. Yeah. So Amy's yes, Amy's, a... Amy's like growing in her responsibilities, and you know we have uh, C six now as part of our you know company as well. So we're moving warehouses. We have distributors, so she's very involved with those and. We got people selling DIY products all over the world, which is absolutely humbling and amazing. But we need a Are lot you of... involved with C6 in any I'm not... capacity? So I'm a part owner of DIY, and C6 yeah. is a part of DIY. So it's under or part of DIY. The same umbrella, so right? I okay. want C6 to succeed because we're all a company and uh, got it. we want to do well. But I'm not involved in any way. Like This is Ivan's baby with sort of professionals. So I mean, in the future, might it happen? Who knows, right? We're the same company. We actually have a podcast coming out tomorrow. Shout out to DIY Detail. Check out that podcast. 2 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Oh, my gosh. Next question, dude. Next question. Hey, uh, Nick, Nick, we got gonna, so many we're people. We're doing a C6 podcast tomorrow. Uh, there's uh, when does C6 launch? Uh, oh, I'm so, yeah. What, that was yesterday, I think, right? Didn't, wasn't yeah, there a live so, yeah. uh, launch yesterday? Live launch yesterday. Podcast tomorrow. Uh, some products are available. Um, yeah, but C6Ceramics.com. You can go check it out. Does rinseless wash diluted 256 to one actually clean as well as some of the dedicated interior cleaners out there? Like I've heard a few times now. Yeah, it does. You should check it out. Um, a lot of people have used it, tried it and love it. If you want all clean, you can use it at 30 to one, but um, you really don't need it. I don't know. It, it's crazy. It's pretty common the for detailers time... to use something more strong than they need. And yeah. Ivan's the one who taught me, grab your dang towel of rinseless wash, you know, wring it out. And try it on that little like turnstock or whatever that you used to it have works, steam and APC and a magic yep. eraser on. And it actually worked. And I was like, why am I making it so much more complicated with an yep. APC? So I would just say try rinseless. And if it doesn't work, you can you can take out your bazooka if you need it. But it's pretty dang good. The and first time right, is created equal. The first like, time I sat fine. with a bucket of rinseless as I was doing an interior, it it was probably the fastest interior detail I'd ever gone through because really? I was like, this is a game changer. Like I'm literally just rinse. I'm not worrying about like overspray. I'm not worrying about this. I'm literally just wiping every surface down with this good cleaner and and yeah, it just blows right through it. Do you have uh, compressed air? Because I would say a rinseless David towel with compressed air is like yeah. a phenomenal combo. Yeah. Um, All right. Here's what I'm thinking, JB, because people are going to keep asking. We're going to do this, and we're going to do our outro. So I'm sorry, everybody. I wish we could keep going forever. Thanks, Bro um, Dizzle. 
He says, I'm sorry I'm late to the game. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. He says, I'll have to catch up after I do a break. Uh, do a break job on my wife's ring. That sounds love personal. Your <laughs> What's up, PC and JB? My guy, appreciate the love. All Thank right, everyone. You, there is a lot of questions we missed, but we apologize. We're 117 people after the hour. It's nuts, Come on. Bro. Give them more. They want All more. Right, give, they want more. JB, you got a minute? I got a minute, man. All right. Hit, hit next question. We ain't out Let's yet, guys. It's a tease uh, for tomorrow. David got me. It's 5 p.m. Eastern on a podcast. Sorry. All right. Uh, Any other DIY questions? DIY rinseless revision. When at, you guys uh, need when? it. We're working on lie. it. We're yeah, working you guys on need it. it. So what is, okay. about to eat those what, cheeks. <laughs> we do a lot of R&D behind the scenes. Don't even worry. When it comes out, if it comes out, it will be a superior rinseless. But right now, we're working on it behind the scenes. What do you think our rinseless needs, Eddie? So here's the thing. McKee's, McKee's, all right, all right. Ivan always told me, like, he. this is, you know, Ivan doesn't, he said he likes McKee's. I tried McKee's, and I didn't think it was slick enough. It felt real, real weird on a, on a mint. So McKee's did a revision, right? So their revision is they kept the cleaning power. But made it slicker now remember i'm an idiot so i i equate slickness to cleaning because i don't think of like a scratching i think of absolute it cleans i think of like the new hero coming out from ads like if you don't come out with a revision ads is about to eat your lunch i'm, I'm gonna just tell hey i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you how it is okay okay and that slickness with the cleaning power and the foaming ability i think brings a lot of value where that's where the market's going but the question is, is DIY want to be what the market is or is DIY going to stand alone? That's what you have to decide. No, For me, we want to be on the cutting edge and everything. It's just we're working on what that would look like behind the scenes. We have different products that we're testing, different revisions. So, you know, I think I think you mentioned slickness, right? Well, slickness doesn't equate to greatness. But when you're thinking about fun for me, when I think of using, right? DIY is a cleaner, is a phenomenal rinseless. To me, it's a phenomenal rinse. It cleans like a beast. It. That's why I said like King. not all rinseless is created equal. Like when you use our rinseless on interiors, it's a real cleaner. Like it really works well. See, uh, absolute doesn't absolute cleans better than um, absolute cleans better than O and R. Even though O and R try to make them look like they're a better cleaning cup, absolute cleans better. It has some surfactant, as you can tell, it breaks it down. Your yeah. rinseless is amazing. For me, I want something that is a tiny bit more slicker has the same cleaning ability you just can't have mckee's beat you you, you look at me in the face stare with me in those news anchor eyes Eddie, don't get your lunch we didn't come, eaten, we didn't come here to lose right? dude. we didn't come here right. to lose oh okay. i'm telling you right now hero drops they're gonna drop the mic on everybody so I, you keep the cleaning ability keep the hybrid like east like uh i think eco wash is the same thing from owner's pride but where the market is shifting, a lot of people talk about one word. And what's that one word? What do people want, it, JB? What do they talk I about? Hope it's, I hope it's not foam. because No, it's not. What do they want? They say every Sock says it 90 times in this video, and I don't know what he means. I don't know. What's that wants. one word we all equate to? Slickness. It's That's like, what oh. they want. I think slickness, whether it is real or not, gives you, whether it's perception or reality or both, that uh, a feeling that it's a safer process, right? I'm telling you right now, my keys is gonna honey dick DIY if you guys don't up your game. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm uh, I'm just uh, my keys has come to play, so DIY needs to make a little little part two. You know, if Ivan's involved, we're not messing around on the rinse list. So. Well, I know Ivan's got plans, and Ivan yeah. is the uh, Ivan's a mastermind. Remember, Ivan's the, to me, Ivan is the king of rinse list, right? He is. Um, I still believe that we want it lubricious, lubricity, lubricity. We want it to smell good. Mm -hmm. We want it to foam when we want it to foam. Yep. We want it to just clean. I, so your revision is going to have to play with those coming out. And those that are coming out are pretty stout. Brandon wants to know when uh, is a less viscous soap coming? But For I real. think this has been mentioned a lot that it's the surfactants that you guys use. Yeah, I mean, it's a thick soap, right? It, yeah. it, it lays down thick and it, and it comes out thick. Um, so we're, we're looking at that as well. Like early on, part of the story that we told is like incredible suds is not a cheap soap to make. Like we didn't mm -hmm. use uh, cheap ingredients in there. So it's a great soap, but I, I get that it's quite thick. So we're listening to customers and we're always working on the, in the background on, on products. Cool. But yeah, I hear Brandon, that. Brandon says she thick. She is thick, bro. I, but it works. The soap works good at one ounce. It does work. Dan, not demand wants to know different sense of rinseless. Like, Someone asked about a ceramic gloss scented rinseless. I don't know. I, I know other companies do different scents, you know, for holidays. I don't know if we're ever going to kind of play that game, but 
Um, you never know, right? If people want it. Uh, let's see. Is there anything <coughs> else, Eddie? Uh, what? Any other questions? Nick Eddie, said he's down Eddie, to play. Uh, Eddie, you're uh, you are red, bro. You got some sun today. Dude, my dad, dude. Look, my dad. Look at this. <laughs> all right. I went to school and got like three degrees, and I'm outside working like it's the, it's like 1944, right? It's a hundred <laughs> degrees outside. It's a hundred degrees outside, and yeah, dude, my body's not ready. I'm gonna tell you that right now, my buddy's. I was gonna mention this. I saw it. So I mentioned this last week, but but Kiev did, I think, a thirty to thirty-two to one uh, dilution of incredible suds in another container in a yep. dispenser, and then he just fills his foam cannon from that dispenser. So there's there's an option. That's a good way to good way to do it for sure. When are you gonna C six hydro the Subaru? Ooh, that's a good. Should we come up to uh, Pocatello, Eddie? I'll bring a bottle of C six. Down, down. Yeah. We'll sand I'm it all. Feeling like, I'm kind of feeling like a Subaru. I need to trade that in and get rid of it. I don't know. I don't know Nick, thoughts get. on statements made recently regarding one absolutely impossible to rinse this wash without marring the paint. This is a hot topic of discussion in any comment and my comments of any rinseless video mm -hmm. I post. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely impossible to clay towel without marring the, the paint. I think the proof is that thousands of detailers have used this process and they haven't scratched or marred the paint. Like, yeah. I, I don't mean to just mic drop it like that, but wouldn't detailers be coming back and saying, actually, this is below? Like, we get haters on TikTok and YouTube and something. But, like, if it really didn't work, if this was really like a snake oil pitch yeah. that actually didn't work, dude, my car, really be cars would be. About it? Bro, I watch everything. And what people don't know is I do foam for the YouTube videos. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm doing it for my business, I'm using rinseless. I'm no yeah. joke. I'm spraying it on. And yeah, I'm using HydroSave. I did it in the sun. No, I didn't get fallen response. But those living in hell, right? Arizona, yeah. um, those living in uh, deep south, uh, it might be different. But I use rinseless wash every day, and I've never had a complaint. I use it to wash clean seal. I use it before a, a, a polish. So in my mind, I'm like, rinseless wash would have already been debunked a long time ago. We're we're like yeah. 2024, exactly. right? Like exactly 90 visions of 90 revisions of on R, <laughs> two revisions of McKees. We got. We got uh, what was this? Sublime is thicker than uh, honey. I, I so you got all these companies who have rinseless washes and pivoting so, to a rinseless wash because they know that that is the future of detailing. I don't care and anyone. So, and I'm, someone like me, who's 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 a who's a you know like a weekender enthusiast, like I'm. Why would I be doing this every single week to the car I pay four hundred dollars a month for and ruin it every single time? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like like that's. It does, just just think for a second. Like uh, I, I've mentioned before that there's detailers in my area that I follow, mobile detailers, and when it's 115 degrees in the summer, they're they're still posting videos of them out foaming the car and taking you know two hours to do a detail. And I'm like, why why aren't you guys doing rinseless wash? And they're like, oh, I've never heard of it, or I never thought about that. And I'm like, I so. <laughs> Need Dr. G oh, yeah. on the April Fool's podcast. Yo, these comments are so funny. Like, I'm chuckling over the ones that you haven't used. Have you seen this uh, There's so cleanse? many. Like, Have you I'm seen trying this to... colon cleanse one, Eddie? Yeah, dude. Like, look, Eddie needs to come on with the rinse. <laughs> it's amazing. What a great and this idea. is the fear, right? Like, if you talk so much crap as a person, if you ever come out with a chemical, your chemical better be so good because you're going to get the hate. Like, we have one of your friends, right? Jimbo came oh, out boy. with... All right, we're gonna let's let's do this. Let's thank everybody. Demo, thanks for giving the overtime tonight. Thank you, Demo. Yeah, you will be seeing the app, the adhesion promoter polish, on some DIY videos as well. Cool. Because it can so, be used before our coding. So so I love Jimbo. Do you know what I love about Jimbo? His aggressiveness, right? So, but we told him on a podcast that when you come out with it, you make claims that they're gonna test it. So our guy, um, Jamie, did a test on it and it it flopped like Burger King, mm. like flip. Up. and what do you guys think about that i love I, it's Jimbo. Just, it's, uh, yeah i don't i don't know like what do you think jb you had a lot to say what do you think so jimbo had a, a podcast come out today or yesterday i don't know he, but i was listening to it and he was saying how how he he wants to make detailing products not necessarily for other pro instagram or facebook or youtube detailers but he wants he wants to make products that his customers want and his customers are, are, you know, the weekend guy who doesn't have time to 
spend a lot of time washing their car and wants to go, you know, has to take their kids to, to whatever. But to me, like if, if, if you're selling a subjectively subpar product at a more expensive price, what benefit are you offering your customer? Are you, are you, you know, you're overcharging them for a mid product. Like I don't, I don't understand why you wouldn't want the feedback from professionals, from other people testing your product so that you can make it the best it can be for whoever's using it. I don't, I don't understand the mindset of, Oh, I make it for this person. So it's good enough. I think, yeah, I don't, I don't, I think taking is, 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 is important to a business, to a product, to, to getting better. I got roasted on my ammo video and hit home different. Right. So I thought ammo because I was seeing it. No, no. So he, he just he just, you know, he spoke the truth. And sometimes it's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow when you get told the truth. You know what I'm saying? The truth is we live in 2024. And if this project is out on the market, it is for the consumer. If I don't have to sign up to get it, guess what? Is it considered a consumer product? Yeah. And he had mentioned to me, he said, yo, so you could get Coach Kemi as a consumer. You could get Car Pro as a consumer. You could get DIY as a consumer. You could get Owner's Pride as a consumer. You just can't get the coatings, right? You get all these companies' uh, products as a consumer. By definition, if you bring something out, you are in, you are competing with every consumer product in the market. And those consumer products are Coach Kemi, Car Pro, right? Uh, Phoenix DOD, DIY. There's a whole list of people. So when you're comparing or you're making a comment, you're not just saying this is for the enthusiast. You're saying this is for the consumer and those consumer products. You you got you got you got a big mountain to climb, dude. Because I could go buy Coach Kemi, and, and right now I'm, I'm digging parts of Coach Kemi Car Pro. And he had told me, he said, "Ed, you're not keeping it real. You're saying that ammo is good for the consumer." And I didn't really dawn on me what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was coming out of left pocket. I was kind of pissed. And then I was like, "Oh, you know what he's saying? He's saying that this black dude could go on Amazon and buy Coach Kemi Active Foam. That's what he was saying. It's." It's open and ready for the consumer. So now going forward, I am comparing everything to every brand as a consumer product because it makes what makes it a pro product because this is pro in front of it. What makes you know it a pro product now about the back end of the industry? Yeah. To know that like I'm a company man, right? I'll say it. like our products are good enough for professional use. Obviously, like most of these pro companies, there, there's just a lot of good products out there. Mm -hmm. and, and the consumer level products should be pro grade. I think they should be good enough for pros. But what makes it a pro grade? Is it because you got a gallon, bro? If that makes you a pro grade, then you capping. It's it, the pro. You if JB goes and uses Dawn and washes the soap, and this is his profession by definition, that soap is not considered professional product. So what makes it pro grade? That's a great question. I think I think it's like if it if let's say your your ceramic spray. Does it does it last longer than you know a cheap product that you get at one of these big box stores? You know, um, I, I don't know if that's the the barrier for entry, but like you would like, I don't know. I would put ceramic gloss up against a lot of those products and say that ours is superior, right? So it's like, in that way, it's pro grade. But I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to like as a consumer. I I don't know why a lot of these companies that are in the big box stores don't make better products. Yeah, you know, I think there's like no excuse. I feel like the products are all getting better. Hopefully, a rising tide lifts all boats, and uh, you know, we can just. There's a lot of like, here. it's good enough, ship it, but not, like, there's very few that are great. Keeping it real, a skilled enthusiast can do a better job than the pro. Pro detailer has to do their job at a price point and the time it takes. A skilled enthusiast doesn't care about time. Right, and so, so, uh, so Ivan's talked about C6, and the C6 coatings are actually easier to install than the DIY coatings. And his whole thing is, it should be easier for a pro product because if you're a professional, you, said you probably have an employee who could mess it up. So that's an interesting take on what a pro product should be as well. Debbie said it. You know, pro grade doesn't it come down to making money? That's my point exactly. So when the guy on, I mean, his name's Master Class, right? Shout him out because okay. he set me straight when he told me that I was fluffing it. Because in my mind, I had what separated ammo. Because in my mind, I separated ammo as a consumer grade product. But the dude selling ammo is a professional. So mm -hmm. by definition, I should have really held it to a higher standard. And that's why in my video following up with Alchemist, I said it was mid. But because if I'm comparing it to everything, right, the whole gamut of the detailing space, there's, uh, there's stuff that's better. But there's soap, there's foam cleanse, 
and their boost was an amazing combo. Their mud was great. That's that's all I'm saying. That's like going forward, we don't get the excuse. If you come out with the chemical, the chemical is for the consumer, and the consumer who turns into a professional is not making it be used for professional use. So I don't know. That's saying that's for for one brand for one person versus the whole gamut of deep in space. It's kind of weird to me. You know what's really humbling about producing chemicals for the public is like once it's out there, it's out there and people are gonna mm-hmm. test it. And I saw only positive reviews, right? Until Jamie's and I felt just as a guy, like on the back end, I felt bad for Jimbo. I was like, I was, I was hoping he was just going to keep killing it. And then to see someone call it out, it's like, man, people have called out our, pro- you know, you never know. So people are going to do what they're going to do with it once it's out there. So and there's two ways you it, can take that. You can, you can get like defensive about it. Like, no, you did this wrong. You had a test version, blah, blah, blah. Or take the feedback and say, okay, like I'm, I'm going to use this to make the product better. I don't know why. <laughs> trying to silence whoever is 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 giving that feedback is is any way good for the for the business but what do i know we're 30 minutes in we have 104 people watching we talked about a lot of stuff i'm gonna end it here let's end it here uh, Let's end I, it here. I started so, rambling, Eddie. you know me you can tell no rambling. once you start rambling you're either out, going bro. like you're going you're going like you're getting tired and hungry, or you need Halfway to eat a steak. Much, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Like, <laughs> All right, let's go, JB. Is. Go ahead. Where can we find you, Nick? Hawk Pro Detailing on YouTube and uh, DIY Detail for sure. DIYDetail.com. You know what it is. Podcast every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. That's tomorrow. And even though even though you won that podcast thing, I still think ours is better. Just throwing it out there. Just... <laughs> No, What's that? Nick. Oh, I don't even think we won a podcast. Thing. Yeah, you I did, no, dude. You I won no the proof. best podcast award, dude. Ivan, you won an award. Congrats. No, there's no deserve. proof of it online. What's up, Josh? There's no proof Josh, of that. I can't find any proof that. that we won. We won award. <laughs> Josh, Josh V. Josh V's money is different. Josh V, bro, he's a kingmaker yeah. these days. Yeah, dude. Josh, Josh V's dope. Yeah. All right, JB, where you at? Uh, follow me on the Instagrams at Jay Belinsky uh, on everything, I guess. Uh, Joey Ten at the Rag Company will save you ten percent. And Eddie, where can they find you? Autofiber.com versus the rag company if you want a good towel. And then uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I love the rag company. Wait, you wait, know what wait, makes wait. The rag company? Which What's is up? which do you prefer? You're an auto fiber guy? Uh I like Klein towels. Oh, you're a clean guy. I like I like, yeah, I like auto fiber, some auto fiber stuff I use for the car. And I do like uh, the rag company. I think the rag company coming with the ultra tools to combat the expensive nonsense is a great, is a great way to hit. <coughs> us as customers i was going to say professionals but we're all fake anyway right what's a professional fake detail, right? you drive a car yeah it's, it's for everyone so shout out to shout out to the rack company for coming out with affordable tools for the the people you know how to make those more affordable use joey 10 at checkout hey <laughs> ec details uh road to 5000 sponsored by ethos thank you uh again to our sponsor for the month lithium if you want a prize it's up to you to email me if you text me instagram me this and that i'm gonna i'm gonna ignore it because you got seven days after seven days you know what happens to jb what happens you get nothing that's right right? i'm not i'm like the tax guy after april 15th Mm. you don't submit your tax return i'm coming after you but this time i'm not you know why eddie coming after you all right i'm out thank you everyone thank you thank you guys amazing